Box score. East Lansing. Mish. When Sockwin Barkley has the ball in his hands, all eyes are on him. That's why you'd be hard-pressed to find many people in the country who don't think he's a candidate for the Heisman. But when the Nittany Lions lose, as they have two weeks in a row after falling, 27-24, to no. 24 Michigan State on Saturday, it's easy to take a closer look at Barkley and the rest of the offense. Saturday's game against Michigan State was the most recent example, as Barkley struggled to get anything going on the ground. The seventh-ranked Nittany Lions went to their passing game on a majority of plays against the Spartans, who tend to stack the box. When they did give it to Barkley, though, there was no running room to be had. It resulted in Barkley rushing for zero yards on six carries in the first half. The junior's production picked up a bit, as he ripped off a 38-yard carry on Penn State's first drive of the second half to bring his total to 63 on the day. For Nittany Lions coach James Franklin, though, that's not good enough. Sockwin didn't struggle today, Franklin said. Our offense struggled at times today, and we haven't been running the ball consistently this year. Quote, the bit of success Penn State did have on the ground came when they challenged the edges of the Michigan State defense. On the first offensive play of the second half, quarterback Trace McSorley tossed the ball to Barkley out wide to his left. Barkley nearly turned the corner but was tripped up after a three-yard gain. But the Nittany Lions stuck with it. On the very next play, they ran the exact same look to the other side. This time. The blocking on the edge was better, and Barkley showed the burst we are used to seeing. Sprinting up the Penn State sideline, 